Hi, we are going to learn what do you mean by lacuna and what do you mean by canaliculi in bone tissue. Lacuna, the word actually means space and canaliculus in singular, a canaliculi means small tunnels, small tunnels or small canals. The spaces are where you have osteocytes. So lacuna are actually the spaces, small bubble-like spaces where you have osteocytes and canaliculi are the spaces where you have the cytoplasmic processes of those osteocytes. If I draw an osteocyte over here, this osteocyte will be located within small bubble-like spaces called lacunae and the cytoplasmic processes, the very fine thin cytoplasmic processes radiating from the osteocytes, they will be lodged within canaliculi. So this is what is meant by canaliculus and uh, lacuna. Now let us have a look at these structures in a cross-sectional virtual slide of bone tissue. This is bone tissue. You are seeing a cross-section of the bone tissue, of the compact bone tissue. And I'm going to zoom in uh, into that compact bone. And as you know, compact bone is filled with haversion systems. And what you are seeing here, all these black dots that you see here, these black uh, structures that you see here are all haversian canals. So if I zoom into one of those regions where you have in the center you have a haversian canals, this entire structure is the haversian system. Haversian system is a bony cylinder. Now if you look into that haversian system, you can see the over here this is the haversian canal and uh, around that haversian canal you can see small black dots. These black dots are actually the spaces or the lacunae. And from these lacunae, you can see radiating small, very thin radiating canaliculi. So these very thin lines are called canaliculi. And you can notice that the canaliculi are either directed towards the haversian canal or they are directed away from the haversian canal. You can see this pattern throughout in the uh, haversian system. All from all the uh, lacunae, you can see the uh, the canaliculi that are directed either towards the uh, haversian system or away from it. And this is very important because they are actually, these cytoplasmic processes are actually communicating from the haversian system towards the periphery of that single osteon. That is how nutrition reaches the periphery. That is how uh, signals from the center reaches the periphery. Everything is going through this uh, canalicular system that is radiating from the center towards the periphery. All right. Thank you.